Hey, what's up Aquamigos? Welcome to another pond build video. We are on the second course of cinder blocks that will make up my retaining wall for the pond. If I can make it from there all the way to here, in today's video, I will be pretty happy. Over here, I have this gap in the wall where I want to custom cut a cinder block to fit in there. And let me just come around to give you guys a better look. So I think I want to start off with doing this and then we'll continue the rest of the wall over there. My dad has a special saw that's going to allow us to do this. This is it right here. Diamond plate. Nice. Luckily, my dad's helping me out here because I've never used this thing before. All right, here we go, guys. He's preparing the brick. We're clamping this piece of wood on here so that the saw can kind of cut at this angle and we should be good to go. This is awesome. Thanks, Dan. There was just a little excess cement on there that I had to clean up. So now let's go ahead and mix up some mortar and we'll try to finish off the wall today. Guys, I'm at a very frustrating point in this wall build. I think I might have messed up, um, but luckily I can still fix it if I did, but I need a second opinion. All right guys, so my dad agrees with me. What I should do is I should move this over here, do a single block right there, or a half block, and then the wall will make sense again. It'll be double, 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 and then, yeah guys, it'll make sense. I, I just need to move one block. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? How are you guys doing today? So it's actually two days later and I missed an upload and basically this is what happened guys. Pretty much when I was out here working on the pond, I decided that I would start on this corner right here because I have a lot more space around it. I thought it would be easier and I made a couple mistakes. The first thing I did is I started with a double block where that single one was supposed to go. Then I had the hardest time with this brick right here, this cinder block right here. The foundation on this corner of the pond was a little bit uneven which I think is what made things a little bit more difficult. It definitely made it take longer to get this block level. And then what happened is the excess cement kept on covering that hole that I was going to put my rebar through. I should have put the rebar through before putting the block on top of it. So I ended up having to take the block off. I had to drill the hole again and then struggle with that block for a long time. And with some help from my dad, I was able to get it to sit right. So in the end, I basically just wasted a bunch of time messing around with that corner. But nonetheless, we're going to take another crack at it and we'll see how much of a wall we're going to be able to finish today. Hopefully we'll be able to finish that second course.
Okay guys, just doing a quick update. So we made it to right there. Uh, it looks like we ran out of rebar. I was able to find this piece that we still had, but it needs to be cut to the right size. And then it looks like I'm still going to be short one piece of rebar. There was a hole in this block right here, but it got covered up by the cement. So I need to go out and buy some more rebar, which I'm not going to do today because by the time I get back, it'll be dark, but we should be able to get up to so like one more block there, one more block there, and then I'll just have to wait with this one right here until we can get that rebar. All right guys, so as you can see, we finished everything except for that last block. I'm really surprised that I didn't have that last piece of rebar. I was sure I had enough, but I guess I need to buy one more small piece. But either way guys, I mean, I think the wall is looking like super good. I'm really happy with the way that it's turning out. What I want to do now is because I, st I still have quite a bit of concrete left or mortar, I guess I should say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in some of these cinder blocks. But before I do that, I have some shout outs for the Aquamigos that I wanna do really quick. I have a shout out for Joseph Shembri, Silent Silver, Blumtron, Louis De Silva, Andre Van Billion, I hope I said your name right, his wife Sune, and his friend Henry, DJS Squibs, Keeping It Koi, TPW Has Puppies, Tia, and Realtor Dan. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys would like a shout out in my next pond build video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and leave a comment with the word Aquamigo in it. It could be anything you want as long as it has the word Aquamigo in it. And let's go finish this up really quick. Okay guys, so that's going to be just about it for today. One thought that I want to leave you guys with is, I know for the longest time I've been saying that I am not going to do a bottom drain in my pond, but after watching a bunch of koi pond videos, I'm starting to think that it would probably be a good idea to do a bottom drain. The thing that was kind of putting me off doing one is that I would have to make a hole in the pond liner, which I am honestly a little bit nervous about, but I would love to hear your guys' opinions about that. I would probably do a retrofitted bottom drain just in case I ever have to access the pipes. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I am kind of leaning towards that idea. But anyways, guys, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my pond build progress, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.